हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर बैक विद द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द फिजियोलॉजी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वीडियो सीरीज सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो टुडे द फर्स्ट यूनिट अबाउट व्हिच वी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम सो इन रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स व्हिच यू आर गोइंग टू रीड द फर्स्ट वन इज सेक्स डिफरेंशिएशन हाउ द सेक्स ऑर्गन्स डेवलप हाउ गैमेटोजेनेसिस एंड ऑल दैट टेक्स प्लेस next is your male reproductive system what are various various organs then next is female reproductive system and lastly pregnancy and lactation so these are the broad four topics which you are going to study now coming to the important topics so i'll request all of you to read this uh, chapter also very important means uh, thoroughly because as you all know all the ch- chapters in physiology you are not going to leave them behind you have to correlate with them in future also like reproductive system same chapter you will get uh, again in the uh, pharmacology the drugs various drugs related to the uh, hormones uh, in the reproductive system similarly in uh, gynecology you will need to know about these topics okay so first topic is normal menstrual bleeding what amount on what day why does it occur the menstrual cycle very very important a diagram is given in your book correlating the hormone levels the mucosa thickness that is also very important next is how does what is fertilization how it takes place then the what is sertoli cell or the various placental hormones such as hcg prolact um, hcg and all prolactin all those hormones then the um, lh surge what is lh surge why is it required what role does it has in ovulation then epididymis what is its role in uh, the he- male reproductive tract then why does the body temperature increase after ovulation reasoning question then what are the various steps of spermatogenesis or oogenesis important question next role of corpus luteum and placenta in pregnancy what roles do they play in pregnancy next feto placental unit this is a new topic which you have not yet heard in uh, your class 12 so this is a new topic which you have been introduced now feto placental unit what are its component what is its importance what is its function then lactational amenorrhea why does it occur then the blood testis barrier the blood testis barrier is important because it prevents the sperm from entering our circulation and being recognized as foreign body next is what is safe period okay safe period in which uh, your uh, fertilization will not occur in a menstrual cycle then what is parturition parturition then why is 5 weeks abstinence advised after vasectomy during the 5 weeks after vasectomy you are advised to use some other uh, method of contraception also so methods of contraception very very important you have to uh, divide it in natural then uh, non surgical surgical which can be reversed which have higher failure rate so you need to know about them briefly so that you can write a short note on them next is action of testosterone what action does it have then pregnancy related questions like iron requirement during pregnancy diet requirement during pregnancy then indicators of ovulation on the day ovulation takes place there are certain indications such as rise in body temperature and all so you need to know about them what are they then milk ejection reflex and the role of hormones in lactation so these are related to lactation these two question so these are the questions related to the reproductive system next coming to the nervous system so this is uh, i can say very long unit so you need to be quite selective while reading this unit if you have read already then there's no problem but uh, if you have not read then a lot of topics are there very new topics are there where you will have to remember many things so i'll suggest go through the important topics first then go through the rest of the chapter so beginning with the important topics so uh, i'll just list them because there are many so first is dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway the tract you will have to, to uh, draw the diagram then this diokinesis then babinski sign fever and shivering in acute infection why does it occur then the various stages of sleep and neurochemical mechanism which regulates it then what is why is fast pain sharp and localized which are the neurons involved in uh, locating fast pain and dull pain then 
Why is L dopa used to treat Parkinsonism? Levodopa. Next is pain pathway and pain inhibition. Next, role of substantia gelatinosa in pain inhibition. Next is your hypotonia in lower motor neuron lesion. Difference between lower motor and upper motor neuronal lesion. Intentional tremors. Uh, dyssynchronized sleep. Touch its receptor pathway and processing in the brain. Then, why uh, cerebellum? What is its input tract, output tract, and the various diseases which are related to the cerebellum? Next is your motor and sensory aphasia. Involuntary movement, role of cerebellum and basal ganglia. What are what is the role of basal ganglia and the cerebellum in the involuntary movements of your body? Next is why is there hypotonia in REM sleep? Next, role of hypothalamus in food intake. Similarly, role of hypothalamus in temperature regulation. Role, in, role of hypothalamus in regulating thirst. So these three are very key functions, means most important functions of the hypothalamus. So you need to know how they are being regulated. And a video regarding this is also present on, uh, on our channel. Next, uh, what are conditioned reflexes? And why they are absent in decorticated animals. Then, what is difference in primary and secondary hyperalgesia? Then, what is basal ganglia? What is Parkinsonism? These you might have read in neuroanatomy also. So, these are very similar topics and similar kind of questions are asked in both physiology and anatomy. Next, what is clasp knife rigidity? Okay, it occurs in upper motor neuron lesion. So, what is it? Effect of acute and long-term cold exposure on your body. Next is Kluver-Bussy syndrome. Next, explicit and implicit memory. Then you can get a question on differences in the function of left and right hemisphere of the brain. Okay, this, uh, this question is also important because both the hemispheres have their own functions. Next is withdrawal reflex. Next is your satiety center the food which you take after that you get satiety so how it is a thing next is physiological basis of voluntary movement so earlier we talked about involuntary now voluntary movements then uh, what is uh, the uh, uh, muscle tone and factors affecting it so that question you might be asked next is fever and heat stroke why fever occurs why heat stroke occurs next role of gamma afferent discharge in muscle tone how it maintains muscle tone then heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Then there are vanilloid receptor and different types of sensory receptors. You might be, a uh, short note might be asked on that. Okay. So these are the various topics related to the central nervous system. The list is a much, uh, means bit longer. So I have selected the most important ones to give to you. Uh, many topics might be there which I might not have covered. So you can look in your previous year papers. Okay. So the last unit which we are going to discuss is not as such a separate unit, it is a part of nervous system that is special senses. So what are the topics which you have to read in that? So the topics are structure of the eye, optics of eye, photochemistry, visual pathway. So these are related to the eye. Then you have hearing, taste sensation and olfactory sensation. So coming to the important topics from this unit. So you can get short notes from this unit, mostly short notes are asked. Uh, long questions are not asked from this unit. So the short notes you can get nystagmus, then hemianopia, different types, hetero, heteronymous, homonymous, then color vision, defects of color vision, the auditory pathway, semicircular canals for balance maintaining, that is important, then the visual pathway, taste pathway, from these chapters you directly get the pathway, you draw the pathway or write about the pathway, then myopia, its correction, then signal transduction at retina, different layers of retina, how signal is transmitted through it. Then olfactory pathway, sensi olfactory sensation at its pathway. Then the organ of corti in the ear. Then light and dark adaptation, how does it occur? Ptosis and midriasis. Then there is astigmatism. The night blindness. Rule of hair cells, both inner hair cell, outer hair cell. What is the difference between inner, inner hair cell and outer hair cell? Then we have uh, bony and air conduction, two types of conduction. This is important from the practical point of view, but you might be asked. Then next is accommodation reflex. And last topic from this unit is stereoscopic vision.
So this unit is means I've, as I've already told you, you will basically get short notes from this unit. So uh, basically prepare for short answers, no requirement of long answer. Now in long answer, you might get the pathways and the defects in pathway and the optic pathway like that. So that only can be a long question. Otherwise, it is mostly asked as a short question. So this was the list of all the topics which uh, means we have been able to gather which have been important for your examination. Uh, as I've already said some topics might be there which we may not have been able to cover. So you can look in the question paper of uh, your own college. You will get a better idea about that. And again and again and again this is the third time I'm saying read the topics with clinical point of view in what way it can present as a disease. Okay. So thank you very much and all the very best.